What's happening, Munchers? My name is Harsh. I'm Shreyas. Welcome back to Munch on This. What are we doing today, Bhatia? We're discovering the possibilities of the aftermath of the bullshittery that Marvel and Sony have done. Absolutely. If you guys haven't seen our reaction to what's happening with Spider-Man between Marvel and Sony, yep. you can check that out here, somewhere here. The link should be there. And yeah, we've already given our reaction, but yeah. this is us discussing all what the possibilities. Next, yeah. What can, where, where can this go, go, what it goes into, yeah. what this leads into, where yeah. does Spider-Man go from here, yeah. all of that. Right. So yeah, let's just get the ball rolling and cool. hit you with number one. You. Number one, so they just go back to being best friends. Of course they do. And yeah. you knowing Marvel, they did the same with James Gunn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, they did that. Yeah, so, they fired him, they hired him, and yeah. they're best friends now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, so they just it goes back to normal. Uh, Tom Holland continues to reprise his role as Spider-Man, possibly yeah. Sinister Six. Woohoo! I uh, wish that really does happen though. Right. And I'm really rooting for this possibility to right. you know just actually happen. Yeah. And also yeah, there have been like petitions and change.org. Of right? course. People rushing like their offices and be like what the hell is going but on but that's more like a glorified dislike button exactly <laughs> change the dot org <laughs> that's what it is right like so. <laughs> anything is freaking like petition yeah anything <laughs> so yeah but yeah this is just a random you know this bullshit and they go back to where they started and yeah and we everybody's happy we right. guys get spider-man in the mcu back right. again right. and yeah the right. world's right again right number two tom tom yeah, Tom plus Tom, we get Tom Holland plus Tom Hardy Ooh. and he joins the Venomverse, Ooh. which is very weird when I say it out loud now. <laughs> I love that shit because I love Venom. Venom is so bad. I it's know it's, it's so bad, but it's so good. <laughs> but yeah, but then Tom Holland as Spider-Man is so good, maybe that balances it out. Yeah, but I think Tom Hardy just gobble up Tom Holland, man. He like, would, he would eat him up alive. Right, and just, which know, just makes point. the whole Venom versus Spider-Man thing like... Actually, yeah, that might be a little entertaining and considering how Sony owns both the properties yes. then yeah. they actually might think there's a lot of you know right. leverage a lot of profitability yeah. there you know for them a lot and of cha ching exactly and imagine like Spider-Man plus Venom versus Carnage <gasps> oh damn yeah that, that would be something that I'd be interested in Spider-Man versus Venom yeah, okay. I'd be interested in that too. Exactly. Who, who am I kidding? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, I want to see that done better than Spider-Man 3. Uh, definitely. Um, definitely. <laughs> Topher Grace Ward. <laughs> who, who cast that guy? Yeah. What, what was going on there? Oh my god, that movie is a shit show. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I'm really hoping this does not happen though because I really did not like Venom. Yeah. But yeah, knowing Sony and knowing that they already have a Spider-Man related franchise with them. Yeah, the Spidey universe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They might just push Tom Holland into right, that right. direction. Number three. So what Sony can potentially do, maybe in, in theory, is that continue Tom Holland's arc from Homecoming, yeah. from Far From Home, from the Infinity Saga, do their right. own Sinister, Sinister Six, you know, spin-off, but not reference the MCU at all. Yeah, that would, I, but it would be a little jarring considering it, how he's how involved he's yeah. been with the entire MCU. He's a chotu. Yeah, how he's, star, he's the he's the lovable new yeah. Avenger that everybody you know is kind of he everybody is kind of like ragging him a little, but yes. they all love him. Yeah. So we've seen that play with them, you know, that the kind right. of wow. Love that these guys share for him. Exactly. And he's the only established Avenger. Like Black Panther's new, That's Doctor true. Strange's new, Captain Marvel's new. All of them are new. Like Spider-Man we've known for so long. So right. he's your like homegrown OG. He's your right. original gangster. So, so it, would, it would be a little jarring if they don't, if they like completely leave everyone else out from the, you know, entire plot. Yeah, but Sony... Uh, yeah, Sony been known to do a little more notorious and exactly. stupid shit. So exactly. you never know how this is going to go. Right. And like we saw from like Into the Spider-Verse, they there is a whole Spider-Man universe. Oh yeah. And considering they've never done a since the six, they keep on freaking teasing us here and there, these villains is so freaking irritating to it already. 20 plus years almost and we still haven't seen a since the six, so that's absolutely sucks. Now is the time for our first honorable mention where speaking of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Yes. They might just put Tom Holland into the Spider-Verse universe make because a sequel out of it. Absolutely, they they already, they already created a good you know yeah. universe there for themselves. Oh, that Sony, they did very well. Sony done a fantastic job with that series right, at least. Right. It's not a series yet, but yeah. I'm pretty sure they're gonna you know they bank better, upon it, hundred percent, yeah. right? So having Tom Holland there with Miles Morales, with yeah. Peter B. Parker, right, and. 
Spidey Gwen yeah. and Nicolas Cage. That would be really cool. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun to see. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, Tom Holland was supposed to make some sort of appearance in the Spider Verse, uh, but yeah, he was shot already. Right. But it, it didn't work out for whatever reason. So this might be one way we that comes to reality. Actually, right? and yeah, I, I would have a lot of fun watching Tom Holland in the animated form. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. It'd be so that much is fun. So fun. Yeah. Number four, Sony is like, okay, we'll do this again. Let's get in a new actor and reboot this whole thing again and get a new Aunt May, maybe Uncle Ben, maybe Oscorp or Osborn. And do blah, the blah, whole blah. great power, great responsibility I, I, bit all yes. over again. Jesus Christ. This is not going to be a drag at all. I'm so pumped for this. <laughs> Said no one ever, do not do this, Sony, please. <laughs> yeah, man. Sony, they don't realize with great power, your freaking character, your universe comes great responsibility. Absolutely. Which apparently is all over the place. And so. right now, the kind of world that he, Tom Holland is in, yes. even the, the kind of characters that built around him, him like even yeah. Aunt May and all right. his friends and all that, right. all those characters around him right. and even J. Jonah Jameson coming back. Oh my god. We've actually got such a nice lovable world yes. for just Spidey so I really hope they don't mess it up right now man. I don't know. I yeah, I mean, know. when it comes to Spider-Man and Sony, I'm just, I've am just always just got my fingers crossed. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> no reboots please. <laughs> Finally coming down to number 5, Marvel being the giant that it is, it actually buys back Spider-Man yeah. from Sony. Yeah, that, that, I mean, we don't know all the intricacies of the, of the details of the contract, right. but considering it is a Marvel character and Marvel is owned by DC, I mean by Disney and Disney being the behemoth that they are. Of course. Maybe there's a way where they'll be like enough of this like back and forth and just give him back and yeah, just take thing. like 15 billion bucks and just give <laughs> Spider-Man back because they just did that with Fox right now, right? right. They got back X-Men, they got back Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. They paid a massive sum yes. to just acquire the entire Fox studio. Yes. They might just take over Sony as well. Who knows? Who knows? Possible. Mm. Disney is literally Skynet right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're taking over the world. Pretty much. We, you hold it here first. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Disney Plus is like a distraction. Easy. <laughs> That's exactly that. They know everyone's just distracted by MCU right now. <laughs> then let's just take over the world right. <laughs> when no one's watching. <laughs> and finally, I, like this is just random. No, Final actually, honorable mention, yeah. Yeah, no, actually, we did a lot of thinking for this. We had like a full on studio. We had like six, seven writers. This is actually this. my favorite <laughs> of all the right. possibilities. Right, so what Disney and Marvel can do as a serious ah, F you to Sony, if you guys remember, Far From Home. When he's in his stealth suit, Ned says that this is Night Monkey, not Spider-Man. How about you continue from where you left off, just call him Night Monkey. <laughs> change the logo, change everything, get Tom Holland Just back. give him a black suit, Tom Holland black suit, Spider-Man, but call Night Monkey. Right. And he only operates at night, maybe has a black suit every now and then, and take, take over from there. Yeah, why not? I mean, why not? I mean, that would be like the biggest screw you to yeah. a, from one studio to another ever exactly. and I think people, the, <laughs> the world would just burn yeah and considering that happens. yeah considering it's Marvel they'll still make their billion dollars of course, of people course. Will, there's no, no yeah. waste of that yeah people are gonna come to watch you know Tom Holland people who's not gonna, gonna watch Night Monkey exactly I'm gonna watch Night Monkey two times Absolutely. three times <laughs> easy <laughs> yeah you want reviews we have reviews also here so yeah I, I mean if, if I was Marvel if I was on Marvel's paycheck and if they wanted ideas this would be pretty much moving its Marvel way. if you're looking for someone to pay, yeah. you got, you got <laughs> excellent writers here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, realistic or not, I don't know. But, but yeah, uh, fun, fun. Just talking about all these possibilities. We have no idea where it's going to go. Yeah, and yeah. I really hope, as a as a fan of the comic book and yeah. the character, yeah. I really hope they do stick with Marvel. They figure something out there. Yeah, they stick with Marvel. Tom Holland. I mean, they. I mean, you just owe it to the fans, to I think the team, the production, right. everything. Because it just, yeah, because it just turned out so well, and, and they've, they've done everything right. Absolutely, and they've done a lot of different things. Absolutely, they, they've stayed true to you know original source. They've paid homages to like. Uh, what's his name? What's his face? <laughs> oh, damn, but <laughs> uh, Tobey Maguire did yeah. by getting in uh, J.K. Simmons' bag, which yeah, was right. a serious, you know, nice, nice little throwback really? there. Course, people yeah. loved it. All the fans loved it. Absolutely, and considering whatever we know, Spider-Man so far is like his uh, identity is always secret, minus you know his his inner circle. But right. this was the first time he's outed into the public. Yeah. So that that was huge. So you have to have to continue from here. I mean, we had a first live vision Mysterio. Oh, Oh my god, how can we so how can we not have that anymore? Absolutely, I mean, like break my heart. Absolutely, and like Jake Gyllenhaal was supposed to be uh, Spider-Man during the Spider-Man days. 
finally he gets to be part of the MCU, part of the Spider Verse, and now just to like say no to all of that would just be such a major crime. So I hope you guys tighten up whatever you have to tighten up. Absolutely. Work your shit out. Money here and there. Come on, man. You guys are making enough money. Sometimes yeah, right. you just have to do fan service, man. That's true. Absolutely. You, you owe it to us. So please. Yeah. So that wraps up our video of all the possibilities that we could actually think of or yeah. where this could go. And anyway. let us know in the comments below what you think. If there are any of the possibilities that we've kind of missed out on, right. do let us know where the, where you think this will go. Yeah. And yeah, keep munching, keep swinging. Nice. Be back for more. See you. Cheers.